Welcome to the Channel 9 studio made by geeks for geeks. This is our brand new space. It's about a year old. So we're doing this birthday video. So when you first walk in, you're going to see some postcards that our fans have given us over the years. This is global. We have Switzerland, Australia, Canada, everywhere. Then you come along here and you see our on-air signs from all the live events we've done. We've got Bill from the beginning. We've got Connect. We've got all the good stuff. And this is our lounging area. This is where guests and hosts come to prep for their shoot before they start filming with us. So it's pretty spacious. We do got windows now. In our old studio, we didn't. That was really depressing. But we got seating here for work. We have our managers can come sit by, prep everything they need to do. A lot of space, very spacious, roomy. We love working here. This is where I sit sometimes when I'm in the mood. And this is my personal computer space right here. This is our TriCaster 8000. Yes, you heard me right, 8000. We've upgraded from the 860. Mm, and then we've got our PTZ control board right here. We got our mic to talk to the person in the studio here. We got our lighting board. We got our mixing board for audio. X32 compact. This thing is digital. It's got lots of buttons. It moves, it does things, it's great, we love it. It has 32 outputs, 32 inputs, way too much, too much for us, we don't need that much. So we got here our system, this runs everything. We have our AJA router here, we got our Blackmagic multi-view so we can change our feeds to see. So we have uh, James Mons Magno inside the studio right now getting ready to shoot the Damon show. We have our Shogun Studios, these are, this is one whole unit right here. So you got SDI in, SDI out for one camera, so we can record ISOs separately. Everything is getting routed into our router, which then goes into the heart of the studio, which is the TriCaster. Our switcher, our streamer, our recording device. We do have more recording devices down here. Um, and then we do have scalers here. And this is our Evo, which stores all of our data. So if this goes down, we're in trouble. So the scaler is great. The lighting board, we can change the colors inside the studio, which we didn't have that capability before. Um, and that's how we run everything. We have our audio gear down here, laying out. We run everything through our SSDs, which go into our recording devices. We pop these, hot swap, given to the editors, bada bing, bada boom. Let me show you some cool stuff here. Our amazing editor slash photographer, Caitlin McKinnon, has put up these photos, and I'm gonna call her up to take it away and show us what, what's going on over here. Hey there, I'm Caitlin. I had a coupon at Costco for photos, so I decided to print out some of our adventures. We had, we've been able to travel the world as a team, and it's been such a privilege. This is one of our first trips, Golnaz and I. This is in Russia. What a trip. And then, yeah, we got Norway. We went all over, over here. Last year, we went to Germany for Christmas. That was amazing. It's a lot of, lot of cool adventures that we've been able to go. Oh, there's Matthew. Here he is in Cambridge. So let me show you over here. These are the editing stations right over here. This is where all the magic happens. If there's any like swearing or crying on screen, we'll cut that out. We'll make you look good, we promise. And then we, ha we use the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite and we love it. And it covers everything we need. After Effects, Premiere, the encoder. And then we also, during live events, when everyone is in a panic, we want to be able to communicate with each other when we're in multiple rooms and all over. So we got these, this, this comm system, and we can hear everyone at all times. And it's super helpful to have. And then also, with editing and everything, we also want to touch it up and make it look true to what we captured. So we got this amazing color correction. I'm going to tell, bring in the expert on color correction. This is Cameron. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I do a little bit of color correction here for Channel 9. I'm also one of the editors and video producers. Um, for a lot of our uh, color corrections, we use DaVinci Resolve, uh, which is why we have the Black Magic uh, panel here. It's a great little uh, piece for editing and for color correction. Um, but enough about our editing stations. We have more to the studio. In this area, we have a total of three studios. This is Studio B. This is a self-service station where people can come in and go at their own pace and do their own thing. We have one camera angle and then we have um, the ability to capture uh, the screen of one device. 
and between the two we can help people make really quick um, videos if they're in need and we're busy so they can come in and get something done really quickly. It's a really efficient, really easy setup for this room. But enough of this, let's go into C, which is our second to last studio. So C is a really unique room because it's more tailored towards podcast uh, kind of shoots. So obviously we have a huge round table over here. This allows us to have people come in and just do their own thing, just have good conversations with good people. It's definitely a really interesting room that kind of stands out from the rest of our studios, but we love it. It's an awesome place to have good conversation. Our third studio is Studio A, which is right over here. This is where we do the majority of all of our content, and Christina is going to tell you more about how it functions and what we do in here. Hey guys. I'm Christina, I'm a host on Channel 9, and this is Studio A, where all the really cool big stuff happens. So this is our biggest studio, we've got lots of stuff going on. People come in here to shoot their shows, including our friend James here. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing awesome, just getting ready to record a new uh, Xamarin show right here on Channel 9. Right here on Channel 9, so all right, so you're just getting set up and you've got some screens behind you that can show off the Xamarin logo, can also show up your slides if you want to do that sort of thing. It's a super cool area, it's where the magic happens, literally any device I need to plug in, phone, Henry's all excited. We also do really cool things like remote call-ins via Skype. So literally anyone can come in from anywhere and record a Xamarin show, which is super cool. That's awesome. So, so this way you can bring people in into the studio and have like more than one person on the show. That's exactly. awesome. Exactly. All right. Thanks, James. All right. Check out the Xamarin show and, and Snack Attack and all that good stuff. Right here you see we've got uh, some great robotic cameras. Golden has talked a little bit about these. They're super cool. This means that when James is talking about all of the Xamarin stuff from the control room, we can control where they look and you don't have to have a camera operator, which is awesome because that's that's good not to have to have extra space. And then of course back here, you can see we've got some seating area. So if you just want to like kind of chill, if you want to come here at Microsoft and just hang out and watch the Channel 9 show, get filmed, watch James, hang with Henry, you can do that. So just hit us up, this is a good space. And then of course, this is our news desk area. And this is where all of our big news desk shows happen. So if you're watching stuff happening at Build or at Connect, this is usually where it's, uh, where it's taking place. We've got chairs back here, people sit in the chairs, they talk. Or they stand if you're short like me. We've got the Channel 9 mic. We've got, again, screens back here. Over here, we've got these two screens. They kind of act as teleprompters if we need them to, or when we're doing live Q&As, they can come up here. That's very fun. Uh, we've also got some teleprompter machines in the studio, so if you do need a little extra help, that's good. Now, you can't have a major studio without a green screen. So, of course, we've got a green screen, and hopefully they've got some key stuff behind me, dancing, looking stupid. That's always fun. Check that out. All right, so I'm just gonna walk through all these, these cables and all this stuff. You can kind of see in the background, we've got our big Channel 9 guy. He's really fun. We've got all kinds of mics and cables and batteries and random cameras, and uh, this is the studio. So this is cool. Now we're back in this area, but we're actually gonna hand this off now to Matthew Pugh, who Matthew is our cinematographer with the mostest. He's great. So we've got to say hi, Matthew. Hello, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> It, he's the one who makes us look pretty. He's also the guy who holds the, the steady cam. So if stuff gets, do you feel seasick? It's, it's Matthew's fault. Just kidding. Yeah, like he does a great job. Roam around and get those shots, and uh, always looking for dynamic imagery, beautiful lighting, and people look good in whatever show we do. Thank you so much, Matthew. Yeah. So Matthew, Matthew is. Thank you. All right, Anna. I guess that uh, that does it. So we'll see you guys later. Woo! <laughs>